Blair Dior making his way all the way from your mama's house. Must be a long distance drive. Absolutely. Well, you know what? This kid is talented and he could be from anywhere he wants to be. Look at the new duds of Blair Dior. How much do you think that man spent? How many millions of dollars did he have? to upgrade that ring gear. Look at that. The word, on, the word on the street is that it was millions. The finest. Blair Dior. What do you think about this new attitude we've been seeing from Blair Dior recently? He's getting very, very confident. The question is, is he too confident? He's still relatively new, but I'll tell you what, he's got the skills and he's just gonna get better and better. And this is the biggest match of his career right now. And you know what? I am not gonna lie to you when I tell you, I've had his music stuck in my head for the last week and a half, just thinking about this season of excellence title match here. Well, I haven't had his music in my head, but I've had his skills in my head. This is one of the more talented guys in KCXW. Even if he's only been wrestling about a year, he's got the talent more than a lot of guys that have wrestled for many years. Blair Dior is here to make a statement, and the Clay Hoon, Clay Hoon is going to have his hands full. This, this might be the strongest challenge we've seen yet for Clay Hoon. A Blair Dior, the finest KCXW has to offer. Clay Kuna! Go! Come on, guys! Let's go! But this man right here, Clay Huna. He's held on to that season of excellence title for a long time now. One of the most popular competitors in KCXW for a reason. Popular, skilled, and powerful. This, this is going to be a contest. Clay Huna giving his layout to that pretty little girl right there. He's here to defend his title for maybe the last time. You heard Michelle say that it's defend it or lose it. And Clay Huna did not come here to lose it. No, he did not. Clay Huna looking to hold on to this title for as long as he possibly can. But like I said, strong test here from Blair Dior. This is going to be a test for both of these guys. I guarantee you Clay Huna's not taking this lightly because he's seen what Blair Dior can do. Blair Dior's been on a roll recently too. He's young, he's hungry. He's a lot like a young Clay Huna. And there he goes right there. Avoid the attack in the corner. Trying to slow things down a bit. He's trying to play some mind games. Clay Huna is very emotional in the ring. This is more of a veteran move by Blair Dior. Is he, is he setting him up for a trap here? Off the ropes, misses the clothesline. He's back out again. See, this is what you're saying. He may be younger, but he has watched some tape. He knows exactly what he's in for against Clay Huna. He knows he what he's doing. Didn't want any part of it. Smart, smart veteran-like maneuver, but... There's the real veteran. Veteran-like maneuver, booting him straight to the chest. You cannot keep doing those tricks with Clay Huna. You do not take your eyes off of this guy. No, you cannot. You can't this take too many shots to the head like that on the ring apron. Clay Hoon is a big, physical, strong guy. I've been in the ring with him. I've felt his power. He's no doubt going to have the power advantage here, even if Blair Dior has the quickness advantage. Yeah, Blair Dior definitely has the speed advantage, but the veteran edge and power going to Clay Huna. This is, this is, this is going to be a tough contest. It is. I don't think Blair wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He's going to have to use some of that finesse. Powerful shoulder tackle there. And a flip with it. Clay Huna knows how to excite these fans. Getting the momentum and showmanship in there. Lays him out across the top rope. I've seen this before. He's going to try to drop the bomb on him. Right across the top rope. 
I was going to say, surprise, Clay Huna not going for the pinfall. Just a two count on that one. That was very close. Blair Dior finding out what a vet Clay Huna is. Could have had him with that maneuver, too. Blair Dior realizing this is a real fight, and he can dodge for a little bit, but he's got to contend with the Clay Huna. There he goes, showing his quickness. But there's the power game of Clay Huna. Double underhook. He suplexes him almost out of the ring. You know, Blair Dior is the more agile man, but every time Clay Huna gets a hold of him, it's not good for Blair Dior. He's overcoming him with his power. It's like he's ready to back it up right into the corner. Referee better get out of there. He's going to get part of it, too. One of the signature moves from Clay Huna. Blair Dior smartly rolling out of the way. Almost pulled the referee into that. Jeremy showing some discretion, not disqualifying him. Perhaps thinking he just got wrapped up by mistake. Yeah, you don't want to put your hands on the ref. That's a quick way to a disqualification. Kicks him right in the face. Great ring presence by Blair Dior. Again, wrestling beyond his years. There's that agility. Wow, look the at that. Bridge, two count. Like I said, this is the biggest match of his career. He came here to walk out with this title. And he's definitely been prepared. Clay Huna trying to block these shots. I think Blair Dior's a little angry that Clay Huna getting the power advantage and the, the advantage when they're slugging it out, giving him a little taste of his own medicine. Which I didn't expect that coming out of Blair Dior, but matching power with Clay Huna is impressive. Well, it's easier to do when you have him worn down and he's not coming at you like a freight train. Yeah, that is very true. Using that quickness. Great drop kick to the chest. Goes in for a quick pin attempt, only two. Season of Excellence Championship on the line here. It's on the line and it's in jeopardy. I'm telling you, Blair Dior has had this match on his mind for a long time. Clay Hoon is a veteran, but Blair Dior is here to make a statement. This would be the first title he's ever won in KCXW. Oh, a jawbreaker. You know, and I've been in the back talking to Blair Dior. He's been watching tape. He's been studying. He knows exactly what he's in for. And that's what I'm talking about. He knows every move Clay Hoon is making before he makes it. Beautiful kick. That, that agility of Blair Dior. He could have knocked him out. He's not moving. He's not moving. Okay, Clay Huna back up to his feet. Irish whips him into the corner. Misses with a kick. Ooh, made the but Clay Huna mad, but not still. Not missing with that. Clay Huna fighting emotional. If he fights emotional against this young upstart, Blair Dior might just win this match. Are we looking at a new season of Excellence Champion right here? In your opinion, what do you think? Do you think he can pull it off? The smart money would be on Clay Huna, but Blair Dior, this is his chance to make a statement. He might be the underdog, but he's had this match on his mind, and this is all he's been thinking about. Now, do you think Clay Huna has been taking this match lightly? Has he not been putting a lot of weight on this contest? I don't think he would take this lightly. This season of excellence championship, he's defended it for so long. He did lose it to Hard Luck Hal Rogers briefly, won it back the next day. But he's been, he's been one of the most winningest competitors in KCXW for the past year. And he's not looking to end this on a down note. And there's the clothesline by the first ever singles season of excellence champion. Yeah, that's a good point. A lot of fans don't realize he did lose that title, but only for one day. You can't keep him down for long. No. Fans rallying behind Clay Huna. Okay. So it looks like we've just been handed a note here. So I've just been told that if Blair Dior wins, the title just gets relinquished. He doesn't actually win the belt. But we're still seeing this fight from Blair Dior. He wants to make a statement and embarrass the Clay Huna. He embarrasses him. The title might get relinquished, but then who would be the first one up for grabs? I would like to think he might get a first shot at that. 
Well, it's going to have to be in a tournament fashion. That's how the season of excellence is decided each year. That would definitely get him a bid in that tournament, though. Ring savvy beyond his ears. Clayhuna catches the leg. The veteran move. Flying Ooh. cross body takes Blair Dior down. Clayhuna not a stranger to agility either. Deceptively quick for a big man. Deceptively quick, very powerful. He's got a great deadlift. I've seen him do it. And there he hits it right in the face. No referee in the way this time. Referee giving him that five count. I don't know how much that's really hurting him more than embarrassing him. Just absolutely embarrassing him in the corner. I don't know. You seen the size of that thing? <laughs> you got a good point there. Oh. oh. Now that was blatant. He doesn't know. Clay Huna does not realize that is not Blair Dior. He just now realizes it. Ref is down. We got to get another referee out here. Jeremy just ate that right in the face. Blair Dior. Could that be the advantage he needed? Shot. Bulldog he hits take it. down. That's his move. But the ref nowhere near ready to make a count. He's that's, got this match won. That's easily a 10 count right there. Referee just now oh, can't even get into position. Blair Dior very lucky right there. Clay Huna trying to get Jeremy back into this. Who, now who is that? Is that? It's the realist. That is the realist. The realist popping in. Ref doesn't see it. What is he doing? Taken out Clay Huna. Is that right there? Is that the realist calling his shot? Does he want in on this action too? I have no idea what his motivation is. He's got a big title match later. That's got to be it though. And Blair Dior. Blair Dior steals a win. Gets the win. And the Season of Excellence title is now relinquished from the Clay Huna. Unbelievable. After the year that the Clay Hoonas had, even with the brief loss to hard luck with the special rules at the Taco Festival, to go out like this in his final defense. I didn't see that one coming. What a heartbreaking the loss. The realist, the realist sneaking in there, taking out Clay Huna right behind the ref's back. Nobody saw that coming. And great, now I'm going to have Blair Dior's music stuck back in my head for another month. You know, Clay Hoon and Realist did have a matchup recently. There might be some bad blood stemming from that. But Blair Dior, what a statement. Getting the victory over the veteran, the Clay Huna. That's got to be a feather in his cap right there. It's Blair Dior getting a win over Clay Huna. Oh, it's easily the biggest win of his KCXW career. He's, he's laying his hands on that title belt, letting it be known. He wants that belt, that season of excellence championship. He thinks he should have it. I don't feel bad for him, though, because the way he won that, very dirty.